And what is going on? As you can see, I'm back with another video, man. Some of these new off-white shoes that I got, man. I'm gonna show you guys. You know what I'm saying? Can you guess what they are? You probably can guess what they are because I probably put it in the title, most likely. But man, they are the off-white Odyssey 1000. Obviously, they came in this bag, as you can see, man. Or maybe I'm lying. Maybe they aren't the off-white one thousands, man. Maybe they are some random shoes. Maybe I'm lying to you, motherfuckers. And you got all fell for it. And I'm just like clickbaiting you guys. But man, if you do enjoy the video, leave a like. Join the stunt family because we are the best family right now. On the small YouTuber side, obviously, Light Skin is the best family, best channel on the big YouTuber side. I'm just saying. But, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, do all that stuff. And let's get straight into the off white. So, guys, out of the bag, obviously, on the front of the bag, it said motherfucking off white um, CO version of blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But I never actually knew what the CO meant. I'm at, if I think about it, I could probably figure it out. But I'm not about to think about it. But, man, as you guys can see, we have the motherfucking Off White Odyssey 1000, man. Got the little spikes on the bottom. And it has the cool little designs around all of the shoe. Obviously, the, the reason that this shoe is getting so popular is because it's Off White. That's the first reason. Every Off White shoe that blows up, well, well, I won't say every Off White shoe doesn't blow up eventually. Like, they all are expensive because it's a designer and it's going to be expensive regardless. But they, they all don't just become high beast and like people would want them image immediately. Or like the old Off White, like Converse looking shoes. Like, everybody don't really wear those. You might see those, you might see those every once in a while, but not a lot to be honest. But these, man, these are blowing up. They're not, I don't know, they're not blowing up, but like people definitely like them and people want them. They're not uncomfortable with, they're not the best feeling shoes. And plus they, um, they are having little spikes on the bottom, so it's not convenient to wear these on a daily basis. If you feel me, you feel me. As you can see, man, guys, I put the black laces on there because, um, I thought that black would look better. You see like the black, on green on black back to black so wait what okay black green black green black that's what i thought so these aren't all white laces i actually had some black off white laces and i think i think somebody stole them or something because i shipped some out and they returned something and i think they took the black laces so here we are let's go over all the little designs in the shoe man as you can see on the front of the shoe we got the motherfucking off-white tag then on the back we got the off-white tag that's like the belt or like the construction belt that I haven't been seeing that, late, that much lately, but they brought it back on this shoe, so it's pretty fire. You feel me? Just, just random, just cool. I guess you could say. Got the suede around the shoe. Got the black rubber part. And let you guys see. You got the little arrow on the side of the shoe, man. And actually, I want you guys to see right here, man. I'm just doing this new lacing thing. I'm gonna get all y'all to start doing this lacing thing. Start doing it. Go get your friends to do it, and then tell them come out this video and tell them that I started. I'm telling you. This shit is fire. Obviously, the shoes came with the motherfucking soles. Now, for me, I take out every one of my shoe soles. I started doing this with my bases because I remember I was trying to sell my bases. I still have them, but like, I was trying to sell them one day. But I changed my mom, but I was trying to sell them, right? And I went to check the soles, take a picture of the soles, and I had seen that they were all gone. Like, it was all messed up. Because when I wear my shoes, for some reason, the soles and everything, they get messed up instantly. They just disappear because I guess I do too much of my shoes. And it just happens. And I just take them out every single time. Plus, with these shoes, these soles are thick as hell. So it's like, um, my shoe, my, my foot is like kind of tight without the, with the sole in it. So I have to take it out and it fits a lot better. Even the soles in general are just a weird, like, kind of material that you don't usually see with most soles. Like, if you can tell in the video, like, most soles don't do this. They, they do it, but they're like super thin. This is like a bunch of motherfucking, this is like five inches thick or something. It's thick. Obvious man, the real obvious question is should you buy these shoes if you are contemplating? Because they are pretty cheap now, not cheap, they're still expensive, but they're not like resale price if you go to like Grilled or Macari or uh, Bump or something. Because for some reason, like I don't understand why people will buy these shoes for nine dollars and then resell it for four hundred dollars back or five hundred dollars, and it doesn't make any sense because why buy them if you're not gonna wear them? Because like off white, like for some reason, like off white only shoes they don't have no resale value because they're already so high. On the, the price range that they don't go down, they, they, they don't go up anymore. They really can't. They're not hype beats, they're just designer shoes. People still buy them, that's why they still resell for under retail, which is sad. If you already buy these for resale, you probably took a hell. Also, forgot to show this part. It also says made in Italy right here, which I just forgot to show earlier. It's like a tiny writing, so it's like kind of hard to see, but just like on first glance. But I'm trying to make sure you guys see it. It is pretty. Fire, man. But man, if you did enjoy it, man, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Join us now, family. Like I said, best small channel family on YouTube right now. Rice is the best, biggest one. Bye.